This is about a poor giant who become a victim from an evil gunshot and suffering with an abscess in his front leg. The elephant was living in the dense forest and from a few days, villagers noticed that a giant wild elephant is hanging out around the village border. When they attentively observed the elephant, they could notice that his right front leg is swollen and there's an abscess on it. Saddened villagers promptly informed the wildlife officers to get their help to save this noble giant. The wildlife officers quickly dispatched to the location and they could spot the injured elephant. They observed the elephant from the distance and prepared the anesthetic drug according to the body weight formula. The brave veterinary surgeon came forward and darted the elephant with tranquilizer gun. The elephant slowed a bit anguish reaction when the dart pricks on his body. The elephant moved into the forest, limping his way. The elephant was darted for the second time to ensure that it was adequately sedated, allowing the officers to work closely with him and provide the necessary treatment. Finally, the elephant was immobilized in a sedative standing position within an area densely populated with thorny bushes and vines, making the operation more challenging for the officers. <laughs> the veterinary surgeon cautiously approached the elephant and started the treatment with administering some painkillers to alleviate the pain that the elephant is enduring. While administering the medicines, he was carefully observing and examining the nature of the injury. There's a festering wound on its front leg, which is swollen badly. The wound has get infected and it has formed into an abscess. The veterinary surgeon started cleaning the wound carefully. Saline solution was syringe into the abscess, while the veterinary surgeon is diligently cleansing the wound. Simultaneously, other wildlife officers are administering antibiotics and anti-inflammatory drugs. Antibiotic administration will help to combat microbial infections, 
preventing their spread and promoting healing the wound. After thoroughly cleaning the wound, Now the veterinarian surgically opened the abscess to facilitate proper drainage of the exudate and removal of decaying tissues. Necrotic tissues were scraped off using cotton swabs and forcep. When the pus in the abscess drained out, the pain and discomfort caused by the abscess may have reduced. Suddenly, the knelt elephant got up unexpectedly, indicating that the sedation was wearing off over the time. It was a narrow escape for the veterinary surgeon. They had very limited time remaining before the elephant regained the consciousness. The dedication and expertise of the veterinary surgeon are evident throughout the entire treatment process. You may have witnessed his skills in our previous videos as well. This veterinary surgeon is renowned for his expertise and unwavering dedication to save the lives of endangered elephants and other wild animals. Once again, he is draining the absence with purulent discharge dripping copiously from infected wound. The wound was packed with povidone iodine solution. Finally, antiseptic fly repellent spray was applied as an external coating to prevent further infections. Now that the treatment has concluded, the elephant is prepared for revival. The revival drug has been administered, and officers are packing their equipment, preparing to depart the site as soon as the elephant regains consciousness, as it is perilous to confront an untamed wild elephant, especially when in pain. However, they didn't leave the site without confirming that the elephant is fully revived. The officers have taken every possible action to facilitate the healing process. 
yet they plan to continue administering regular antibiotic treatment until the wound is completely healed. In the interim, a forest ranger has been assigned to monitor the elephant and promptly report any emergency cases to the wildlife officers. Oh, no, 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 no,